On the Podbean app, which is a hosting service for a variety of different podcasts and video podcasts, uh, this is how you will find my the opening page of my site. Uh, there's links to this on the the website. Um, the order that you find here basically is in order of when I make them. For example, this one was done four days ago. And this particular um, video stayed with me a long time because of the feeling that I had when I had seen it. Um, in fact, I entitled it, There Is No Way I Could, and I just left this open here because when you add a verb, that would be the the sentence. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cough here. Uh, there is no way I could do that. There was no way I could meet her. There was no way I could do ballroom dancing. This pattern expresses the feeling that I had while watching this, among many feelings of being amazed at how well they did, but reflecting on it, how what my feeling of it was, you know, I, there was no way I could do that. And the more I thought about it, the more I felt that it would be good to highlight for you some of the nuances of this pattern. It's found in our 39 on the website. So here's the little um, lesson that I put together regarding giving you insights of how this is commonly used. It's commonly used these ways. There's no way that in a sentence. There isn't any way in a sentence. Or with the simple verb, there is no way to go, there isn't any way to find it. When students first begin to learn conversation skills, they will <clears throat> uh, learn the simplest forms. I can't go, I'm not able to go, I'm un unable to go. And many of them overuse this pattern. I try to help them to steer them away from it so that they can use more sophisticated patterns which express the same thing but will help them sound quite natural and will help them to express the myriad of feelings that they have. So in this particular pattern here, are the varieties that we see here, here's the pattern, here's the sentence, and a question. There is no way can be used in a sentence but there is no question form. There isn't any way can be used in either a sentence or a question. And common combinations that you will find with this pattern is that you simply just add a sentence. There is no way he'll do it. And all the patterns that we've learned up to that point can be added here. There's no way he needs to give that to her. Isn't there any way he can do that? Is there any way he might find out about it? So you can join these patterns, which are feelings, along with this feeling here. Positive sentences and questions. Uh, there is a way you can do it. Is there a way you can do it? Is there any way? Is there some way? Some and any can be used interchangeable here in a positive sentence or question. Um, usually some is not used with the negative aspect here. And if there's a potential of something happening, you can even put may or might before it. There may be a way he will do it for you. There might be a way you can get there by car. <clears throat> and once again, you can add patterns to this. So this, although it's commonly um, 
a negative, you can add um, positive sentences sometimes. Then common combinations that you will find with this, we actually studied in hours 25 and 26, where we studied could, would, and should. Basically, the feelings of a weak possibility, something happening, a good possibility, or should, which always seems to express a judgment of some sort. So in hour 25, we have a weak possibility and a good possibility. This could is expressing a weak possibility of something happening. Both present and future are <clears throat> used here. In the past, it's, it's a little bit more complicated. I wish I could have. But when we get to um, should, uh, obviously, here's where a judgment is made. So after building up our skills and learning and becoming comfortable with could, would, and should, you will also find that with the use of this pattern. Let me get to it. Could, should, and would. So I could do it, I would do it, and I should do it. The feeling's all different. So the present and the future, there's no way he could make that. The past, you're going to use could have. This is wrong here. It should be met. I could have met her. I'll change that. Would with the present and future here. And if you refer to the past, there isn't any way that she would have bought that. The judgment, instead of would, you would just put should. There isn't any way that she should have bought that. And that's where you'll find this here. So there's no way that he should tell her that. So here are some examples that you can see. Uh, there's short forms for this pattern, obviously, where there's no way he would have done that. They simply People would simply drop this and they would say, he wouldn't have done that. <coughs> Excuse me. There was no way that they could understand that. You know, they couldn't understand that. So sometimes you'll find that even in the shortest of forms, but it's implied there's no way. You know, um, you know they, um, for example, um, he bought a house. Well, he couldn't have bought a house. There's no way he could have bought a house. You know, he doesn't have the money. There is myriad, there's many, many ways to use this. But the short form, sometimes you just find this use, could, should, and would. Listen for how the native speaker uses it in situations. You find the very shortest form, which is just no way. For example, uh, they got divorced. No way. No way they got divorced. There is no way they got divorced. But this is the short form. It's the exclamation. He lost all the money. No way. You know, you're surprised. It's, it's a sense of surprise. Because it, it's meaning there's no way that he could do it. Finally, it is used to convince people or express disbelief. Uh, you know, you often find this in police shows and murder mysteries. You know, he couldn't have murdered her. He, or, um, I wouldn't have done that. He wouldn't have done that. So there's many ways. Um, you know, there's no way he did that. He couldn't have done it. So once again, you're using these forms with the could, would, and should here. There's no way he said that. He wouldn't have said that. You know, it's just disbelief. 
that you're expressing. So um, this takes a while for a newer student to the English conversation program to get used to. Um, the teacher will need to, you know, ask them many questions in order to help them to um, mimic what they're saying so that the student can become comfortable with it. But in many ways, it is one of the most common patterns used when you just can't believe something happened or you can't believe something will happen. If you want to put a moral judgment in it, you can add the should. So you'll find this printout along with the video in our 20, uh, 39, excuse me, our 39 in the intro section of that. I hope this has been helpful.